Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It is Callie Dreams. Today I'm going to talk to you about what brand and what type of hair is best for knotless braids and or box braids. So right now, people are always saying that when they have box braids or knotless braids, whenever I go to a braid specialist, they're always telling me that they want the pre-stretched hair and the antibacterial blend. So the pre-stretched hair, it just makes it easier for the braider to braid the hair. They don't have to keep stretching it out to make it to the length that they want it. And not only that, it is easier on their hands when they're braiding and it um, saves time. They also want the antibacterial hair because there are some braiding hair that have been leaving women of color or people who put these synthetic hair in their hair with inflamed scalp. So there's hair that you might buy from China that um, has a chemical on it that is giving alopecia, that is giving an inflamed scalp, that is giving a harsh itchiness. So you want to make sure that you get a brand and hair that is great and delicate to the skin and the scalp. If you've ever come across braiding hair that is itchy and your scalp can't tolerate it, they say it's best to dip it in apple cider vinegar. But I feel like that process is unnecessary as long as you get the right brand. You know, there's been companies that have been sued because of the, um, the just the inflamed scalp. And I've only had one time where I've put extensions in my hair and I'm like, my head is itching, it was red. And I've even seen someone who had like pussiness in it and I feel like, you know, why would I take the time to put apple cider vinegar? But if it's already in your head and you want to get that out, that's the best way to wash that chemical out. So let me show you the hair that I use for when I do my braids. So currently the hair that I like to use for uh, knotless braids and box braids is the Spectra pre-stretched, pre-layered hair. Um, and I usually get it in the 26 inch. So you can see how long my braids are I like mine you know at this length so I get the 26 inch and if you don't have the 26 inch they have shorter inches like I think 18 and 20 but this gives me the length that I want it says it's pre-stretched itch free tangle free quick dry ultra light and hot set water and I usually get it in the color if I want a natural look I usually get it in a 1B and this brand is called Spectra S-P-E-T-R-A, Innocence Luxury Premium Hair. And I get 1B because 1B is usually uh, the average natural hair color. Unless you blondish hair or have more of an auburn type of brown hair, then that's not the average. But if you're talking about like that black hair, it's usually not a jet black. Usually natural hair color is a 1B. And I hate it when I go to look on Instagram or YouTube and they're telling you about the hair, but they never give you the hair color. I'm always having to write a message saying, hey, what colors did you use? And I'm like, if you're going to show off the hair, at least tell me what the hair color is, what brand you use, what mixture you use. Was it an ombre hair that you purchased? One time I went to go get my hair braided, and this is before I knew about the pre-stretched hair and all of that. I had bought this Kane Kalan hair and it wasn't pre-stretched it's just regular tango free flame retarded hair and this is what they used to use but now braiders want a different brand so I had wasted my money ordering like a whole bunch of packs of these because they're like a dollar twenty and stuff like that so but you know they're cheap at you know the hair salons too or if you go on Amazon so don't buy this regular hair buy the pre-stretched hair because it saves time and it is you, you know that it's going to be itch free and things like that. So there is a color that I want to try from the Innocent Spectra hair. It is the T27613. And so the T27613 is a two-tone, which it has the 27 and 613. And then it ombres out into blonde. Now, I haven't really seen many people with this. You know, when they have it online or if they post it, they never say what it is. And I've seen like maybe three people with this look and two of them looked good and one didn't look good. And I was like, 
I don't know. I don't know how this is going to be. So I'm going to have to try this out. I'm probably going to try it out in February. But I got this from Amazon and I got three packs. So whenever I get my knotless braids, this all this took two packs. It's very lightweight and it doesn't require as many um, extension packs as you would box braids. So for my hair, I only use two packs of these. But if I use box, braid, box braids, I will probably need eight and nine packs just to do my hair and it makes it not lightweight it's heavy on your head and i already got a big head i can't add extra weight to this you know i also bought the color 613 as well so whenever i try that two-tone i might add some strands of just all blonde or uh 27 so this is another um color that i want to incorporate in it you know i always get nervous because i work more of a corporate job of adding those blondes because you do get judged you know on your hair i don't want it to come off looking too ghetto or you know for the workforce or just too much you know but uh, I'm, a, I'm a risk taker i have this itch to try it here's the color 27 and 27 is basically what they call a strawberry blonde so it's a more of an orangey um reddish blonde and it looks good on some skin complexion some don't i don't really like it alone but to each his own another color that i had seen in the brand was the t427 which is a mixture of a light brown with the ombre of the 27 so it has the light brown the strawberry blonde which is that 27 and at the bottom is 27 so these are all the colors that i am so excited to try i have it on standby for whenever i'm getting my hair done but also this length is different than the other ones that i showed you the other ones were 26 inch i'm trying to see how long this one is i don't know how long that hair is but i'm gonna say it's like this is 26 i'm gonna say it's like 22 inches because look at the difference in the the length i feel like that will only if i was to braid that i think it'll only come to here but i like this long length so i like to put it in ponytails and everything i like to take take i like to take away from this big ass head of mine so yeah that is it you guys make sure you like subscribe and comment i hope that you enjoy all the hair that i have shown you and the suggestions that i have had because i've gotten emails on you know what type of hair should i use what type of brand what is the best for my hair so this is the one that i use um you can call your local beauty supply store just to see if they actually have the spectra innocence brand there and just keep in mind the length that you want and see if your um, hairstylist charges more for the length and all those things when you're making that decision so anyway make sure you like subscribe and comment and i'll see you guys next time Bye bye